Changes to Queensland tenancy laws commenced on the 6th of June 2024. While some changes are now in effect, other changes will commence upon proclamation on a date to be advised. If you are a tenant or a property manager or owner, it's important that you understand how these changes affect you. Rent bidding is unlawful in Queensland and rental properties need to be advertised at a fixed price. This now also includes roomy accommodation. The new laws aim to improve the transparency and fairness of the rental application process. Property managers and owners are unable to accept a rent offer greater than the advertised price. The maximum rent payable in advance by tenants at the start of a tenancy is now capped. For general tenancies, it will be one month's rent. For roomy accommodation and movable dwellings, it will be two weeks rent. Soliciting or accepting more than these amounts is a breach of the legislation and penalties apply. However, once a tenancy has been established, a tenant may offer to pay more than the maximum rent in advance during the tenancy and the property manager or owner may accept. Rent increase frequency to not more than once every 12 months is now attached to the premises and not an individual tenancy. The tenancy agreement must now include the date of the last rent increase for the premises and there are requirements to provide evidence of the last rent increase when a written request is received. The changes do not limit how much rent can be increased by and if a tenant believes a rent increase is excessive, they should visit the RTA's website for further information. The changes also highlight who is an exempt lessor or provider in relation to rent increases and also provides an avenue for an owner to apply to QCAT to increase rent in less than 12 months due to hardship. For boarders, lodges and residents who are renting a room where an owner lives on the premises and there are fewer than three rooms available for rent, any bond paid must be lodged with the RTA. There will be three heads of power established, which means new regulations relating to a portable bond scheme, a code of conduct for the rental sector, and modifications for safety, security, and accessibility. The details have yet to be drafted for these regulations. There are also changes to bond loans and commercial bond products with regards to refunds, changes regarding domestic and family violence provisions, and the process for dealing with goods left behind in a rental property, and also some other minor amendments and wording changes. Other changes include the time frame to end a short tenancy in a movable dwelling, as well as ending a tenancy due to the termination of a community title scheme in a body corporate. The legislation changes open up new avenues to strengthen the enforcement of the Act with new penalty provisions and in some instances, increased penalties. Tenants and property managers and owners have rights and responsibilities under Queensland tenancy laws and knowing this information along with good communication is the key to a successful tenancy. The RTA is here to help you navigate these changes. So for more information on Queensland tenancy laws, please visit the RTA's website at rta.qld.gov.au.